Yo, what's good, YouTube? Hope you guys are doing well today. And we're at episode number two of Trading with Team of the Season Players. You guys are looking at my trade pile. You guys see my coin total of 710,000 coins. And you see Team of the Season Hamshik selling for 290,000. If you guys didn't see in the first episode, the previous episode, we listed him for 290,000 to get a profit. After two days, he finally sold. It did take listing them three times for 12 hours each to finally sell but he did sell for a profit that's great El Sharawi we sold him for 299,000 we bought him for around 283,000 I think so we made about 3,000 coins profit and he sold rather quickly so he's a good player to invest in if you can get him for cheap sell him for a little bit more and you can make a decent amount of profit 3,000 is not that much obviously so here's what we're going to do for this episode you guys see the whole team actually sold for profit you guys see Balotelli sold for profit Pepe, Chiellini all those the whole team pretty much made profit on it I actually walked away with 30,000 coins profit from selling the team which is crazy good very very happy with the amount of coins i got back but again in this episode we're gonna focus on team of the season players that are a little bit cheaper so we're gonna go ahead and see what kind of profit we can make on cheaper team of the season players they're probably gonna be bpl players so stay tuned we're gonna switch over the screen to the brand new team there's not gonna be gameplay footage again guys most of you said not to do gameplay footage believe it or not they said hey if this is a trading series there's no point of doing gameplay footage so again what we're going to do is make another team prop again it's going to be a bpl team wait for it it's going to switch on the screen here we're going to show you the team we're going to show you the players that we get and then in the next episode we're going to see if they sell or not so again we're at 710,000 coins made a profit on every single player both our team of the season players made profit on we're going to hop into the next team right now all right, guys, so we've went ahead and made a full BPL team in the 3-5-2 formation. One thing I want you guys to keep in mind is always pick formations that are popular on Ultimate Team. The reason behind that is for trading purposes. You always want to pick a formation that a lot of people play so that most people will be able to buy your player over others, even though it might cost a little bit more rather than going out and buying a formation card. So keep that in mind. Always play a popular formation, even if it's not a formation that you don't enjoy if you are focused on trading, if you don't care about trading and you have millions of coins, obviously that doesn't matter. Pick whatever formation you want. But if you're focused on making profit, stick to formations like the 352 and the 41212. Those are really the main formations on Ultimate Team that are extremely popular. So in this case, we've actually gone ahead and bought three Team of the Season players. We've gone ahead and got Santi Cazola, Wadham for 333,000 coins, which is actually a hefty price tag. Arteta we got for 136,000, I believe, 135,000 coins. And Nasta Siege is going to be the cheapest of the bunch for 30. 8,000 coins. Now keep in mind guys, we're not only going to try to make profit on the team of the season players, we're going to try to make profits on every single player on the team. Keep that in mind. Another thing, always account for 5% EA tax. A lot of people still ask me, what is EA tax? I'll explain it one more time as if I haven't so many times already. EA tax, every time you sell a player on the auction house, EA takes 5% out of your total profit. So anytime you want to sell something, always increase that price by 5% so you always get back your coins. Now in this case we won't have gameplay footage as I said before but this team was a very very good team even though the 352 is not a good formation that I enjoy. It's a it's a good formation I just don't enjoy it. I should say it that way because I know a lot of you guys like the 352. I don't enjoy playing it because it's got vulnerabilities on the uh left and right wings but again that's not really for this video. But a lot of you guys told me not to do video clips, not to do gameplay footage because this is going to be a trading series, so I guess we'll stick with that for now. We're going to list these three players up for 12 hours. We're going to keep listing them up until they sell. That's why I don't think I can do a daily video with this series, and I thought I could because sometimes it takes a couple of days for the team of the season player to sell for a profit. So here are here is what we're going to do as a solution. We're going to go back and forth between Stain and D1 and this series as much as possible. So today is going to be a trading with Team of the Season player series. If they do sell tonight, I will release another one tomorrow. If they don't, I'll go ahead with a Stain and D1, and that's what we're going to go ahead and do. So I hope that's a good plan for you guys, and I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, please give it a like. It really helps me out. And if you guys want to see daily FIFA content, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. I mean, what else are you going to do? We'll catch you guys all tomorrow. Later.